Hey, it's Michael Malley from My Own Worst Enemy. What's up, Buddy TV? My Own Worst Enemy, in 30 seconds or less, why should viewers tune in to watch this new show? Viewers should tune in to watch this new show because we have a phenomenal cast. Uh, James Cromwell, Alfred Woodard, Saffron Burroughs, Christian Slater, Machen. I'm the dead weight. Uh, I'm the dead weight. I am like um, in that Sesame Street song, uh, which of these things is not like the others? Which of these things doesn't belong? That's me. Uh, but I hope to, um, I have to bring some lightness and some uh, severity to the show. But it is great. It's a great show about, you know, the the government taking over our minds and using us for their own purposes, and how an ordinary man tries to fight back and do the right thing. And uh, so you you play a spy on the show. So so far, what what has been your favorite mission, or do you, do you enjoy getting into sort of these spy missions? I do. I, you know, I, I I also play a suburban dad who has a chip in my head and. Uh, in the real life, well, I guess there's two real lives in this show, but in this show, I have a character who has a chip in his head, and I'm an operative, but I'm also a suburban dad. And I think what's interesting about the missions, I think, for me as an actor, is that they're, they're by the book. There's a lot at stake. It's very clear what's at stake. It's very clear what you have to do. And uh, Playing with the gun when you're not really hurting anybody in real life, but you're hurting somebody uh, and inflicting damage on a television show is, you know, it's every little boy's dream, right? Playing cops and robbers. And you're predominantly known more for like a comedic background. So now coming into a drama, like, is that, is that a difficult change to go from comedy to the serious action drama? Well, I think that, I think one of the reasons they cast me, is so I've been told, is that the, the part of the suburban dad part of who I am in this show is something that's consistent with characters I've played in the in the past. The guy who's the office buddy runs the fantasy football pool, has a good time, likes to make light of situations at work, and then that switch, which happens in the first episode, where we realize that uh, this guy is a very sadistic man who his only true love is his country and the organization that he works for. Uh, I find that playing very clear objectives like that is not the same sort of challenge as caused by hitting a joke, getting a timing right. You know, comedy is a lot about the joke, the delivery, the timing, what your point of view is when you say it. And oftentimes if a drama is written really, really well, the acting portion of it is just leaving yourself alone and not letting yourself get too too involved in the scene where you're trying to show and rather than just be in the scene and do what the objective is and uh, you mentioned sort of like the other the other cast members and these big names yeah. is, is there one who you were really excited to meet or who like you finally got to meet for the first time well I've always loved James Cromwell's work and to be on my second episode to be in a scene opposite him where we're both blatantly lying to one another was pretty uh, it's pretty awesome playing that subtext uh, he's a giant guy. He's like uh, you know six five, and uh, I've just always admired his work. And it was great to be acting opposite him. And of course, Alfre, same thing. She plays my boss in the show. I've I've loved her. Christian is just uh, you know I've been watching Christian ever since I saw Heather's all those years ago, and I think people will be really reawakening to his sense of humor that he has as an actor, the wryness, and his ability to have a real original take on dialogue that's that's very singular